hi guys and welcome back to another video so i figured this month or <laughs> this i figured for this video we would flip through my old reading journal so this journal is from december the 20th to august or december the 20th oh baby jesus december 2020 to august of 2022 um i used this as a dashboard for sticky notes that i wanted um and then I decided to do an intro and just do a bookish quote. I do it in each one of them. So this is what my current reading journal looks like. And so it's just a fun little way to break in my journal. And so I'm not as precious with it because usually this one doesn't leave my house very often. Something I want to change so I can start writing stuff down in it as I think of it. Um, but I digress. This is just a art piece I decided to do. This is my index, which is continued here because I ran out of room. And then we go straight into my first book of annotations. This is Crown of Midnight. I absolutely love looking at this because this is my first time doing this. And I remember sitting back down after I had finished it and did all these annotations on sticky notes, pulling them out of the book itself and like writing the page that I pulled it off of and what I thought. Um, this is Alice in Zombieland. I actually own this one so I just wanted to do it too because I had just done Crown of Midnight. Interview with the Vampire which I didn't finish. I even put DNF like when I DNF'd it and left it in here just so I knew. Air Fire. The same thing. If you don't want spoilers I wouldn't read too closely. Um, Pet Cemetery, which I never finished. Crave, which it didn't even get annotations. It got favorite quotes, three pros and three cons. That was it. Because I had physically read it. Um, I actually really love this one. Love this book itself. And I, it was so good. Next is Queen of Shadows. This one was just a pen only. And as you can tell, I did it as I read the book. So this carried around with me as I read it. And I really miss doing that. The Bone Houses, which I didn't even finish filling in. Emperor of Storms, which as you can see. And then I did Final Thoughts and realized I had a whole like receipt paper where I didn't have any sticky notes with me. So I just started writing on it. And then sticky notes that I just stuck in here because I never added them. Um, next is your next. This was a book I physically read. My annotations are in that book, but I wanted to make sure I made note that I read it. Southern Book Club's Guide to Slaying Vampires. I didn't feel a need to write all my, uh, annotations. This was the one I brought from the library. I just put pros and cons because I read it so fast, I believe. This was my first attempt at a TBR page. This is the Evolution of Maradar. These are just notes that I thought while writing it. These are overall thoughts. These were like specific to one scene or one line or one page. This is just my overall thoughts and so I added it. Uh, Broken Things, another one. Um, the Inheritance, Inheritance Game, Devil's Demise. Um, brain, this is another TBR as you can tell daughter of the burning city there was actually a couple plot holes in this one that really bugged me so i just put them on a sticky note and stuck them in here so i have it <laughs> the wild ones which was a review post i did i got an arc very kindly sent and so that was that um this is a final girl support group that is actually the book cover which you can't really even tell i must have this must have got really warm or something I printed it out with my thermal printer, and you can't even tell that's the cover now. Um, Generation Dead, which I finished, but didn't really care for the whole series on my uh, bookshelves. I'm planning on finishing it, but I just never did. Back Toward the Midnight. Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. I love this so much. I want my own copy. I don't have my own copy currently. I want my own copy of it. This one didn't do that. I don't know why that other one did, but this one didn't. Weird. Um, but I put all of her notes. Every note I had for Evelyn is in here. And I probably would have made more if I owned it. Um, and then quarter three books completed. So I started noticing I needed somewhere to list all the books I read and when I read them. Um, because I wasn't doing a page 
for each book I finished. And so I changed that in my current journal. This is The Invisible Life, Ghost in the Headlights. And then I just did a sticky note for this one because I realized I didn't finish this. And so I just put it on a sticky note and left it in here. Name of the Wind. I actually went back and did this one. Um, so I would have it. This is a and a, a page I made after I had already finished the book and everything because I loved it. I went back and added it. Uh, Not the One You Marry was a really quick read. I honestly can kind of remember a little bit about it, but not a whole bunch. Um, A Touch of Darkness. And then here is my 2022. So as you can tell, there was no clear change over from 2020 to 2021 or 20 2020 yeah 2020 2021 just wasn't here and then I did this all for 2022 so let me just move this out of the way so here were my goals and just like a break page a break a page break in the two here was my a to z challenge my audiobooks I finished because I got to the point where I wanted to know which one of these I read audibly and which ones I read, read physically. Here was my Court of Silver Flames, which I never went back and actually added my thoughts. I annotated it recently, but I never went back and just put my annotations in. The Red Speech of Maradar, Touch of Ruin, which I actually really enjoyed this one. It's a smutty Persephone and Hades retelling, and I just never never felt the need to add my thoughts like it was just a fun quick read for me um and i actually cut this out in the rest of my my new journal it doesn't even have the main character because i didn't find that useful serpent and dove days of blood and starlight i really like the way this one looks i started getting more creative with my title or with my um covers my pages at least um as you can see love of my own I even put why this is not finished and I never went back library of unwritten library of the unwritten I never really got into this one I want to give it another try it is on my shelves we will see I have just as I am which I never put my thoughts in <laughs> house of sky and breath um this one I have so many thoughts now and I want to reread but yeah then she was gone and as you can see, I started adding the published date right around here because I realized it was something I wanted. This was Tower of Dawn and I ran out of room so I actually just did a little tip in <laughs> here for it. Next, Legend Listen and Vengeance. And then this <laughs> is actually a casualty of Ollie. Um, so I had left it laying on the bed with her and didn't think her little like five month, six month self could do anything and she ripped a whole pa couple pages out. So I had to redo them. I thought it was kind of cute and never even tried to cut away the extra paper because I just, it reminded me of her. Every Heart of Doorway, Down Among Sticks and Bones, which I never really added my thoughts because I didn't think they were needed. Uh, Beneath the Sugar Sky, My Lovely Wife, which I never finished. It was a DNF. Um, I got kind of into it, realized that it was a, a serial killing wife, husband and wife pair and just wasn't something I was into. I started listening to it and ended up putting it down. Kingdom of Ash, I redid, as you can see on page 108. Um, Turn of the Key, I love this one so much. Um, as you can see, I put myself a note. I never actually added a start date because it's really irrelevant to me these are this is two pages glued together and then you got my full uh cinder series i did them all on one page because i read them really fast together um you guys life changing of mary of uh mary mary life changing of tidying up last change life changing magic of tidying up in an instant dream This one was my first Agatha Christie. I really, really enjoyed it. Um, I have since read a couple more of hers and I absolutely love it. This one, I um, actually took notes and I think my notes are somewhere in another journal. 
that I have lost since lost. Gideon, I absolutely love Gideon. Uh, across the green grass fields where the ground girls go. Here's my next Agatha Christie, which actually, um, as you can see, I only listened to part of it. Uh, it was a snippet of a TV show. And so it just like ran through the mystery in under, I think under four hours. So it really wasn't the whole thing and it didn't give me the payoff I was looking for. So this is something I want to reread the full audiobook of. Um, but yeah, Permanent Record, which I disliked with a passion. I gave it 2.5 stars. It just was not good. Um, and I think it may be still on my shelves or it's in a box somewhere waiting to be donated because I have, I bought it because I love the cover. I love the unique way the cover's done, but then I didn't like it at all. I happen to love the Court series by Tracy Wolf, so this is the next one in it. Assassin's Blade. Stiff was really good. It was very educational. I didn't know what happened to her body after I died. I didn't know what happened to human cadavers, and I found this book to be very interesting to learn about what really happens to them. Um, the Definers, which actually I reread, I phys had physical read in 2018, did not like it, and then reread it audibly and absolutely loved it. So sometimes the way you intake a book and the way you consume it will change your thoughts. Murder in the Orient Express, that's what this little sticky note is here. I had put it in the front of the book to know, myself know that this was the one book in here that I did not like actively DNF or did not like actively say I'm done. This is just one I never read. I never even started it. I made a page and just never started it. Layer of Dreams. Here's another tip in which is Finding Me by Viola Davis. As you can tell, somehow this got ripped, but um, there's just more notes that I needed and I listened to this one. It was such a powerful memoir. It was my first memoir and I absolutely loved it. Book of Cold Cases. This is Neon Gods, which I didn't even put really any notes in here, but I love this little flip here. I love that design. Um, Murder's Book Club, which I did not like at all. And then this is My Kingdom of Ash, where I redid it. Believe me, there's a lot more notes in this in that book. I just didn't transfer them over. I started a new job as I was finishing this one, so I never did. Finn by Stephen King, Red Queen. This is actually a reread that I did. Glass Horror was a reread. Mr. Mr. Mercedes, which I had started a couple times. And it took me a while, but I finally finished it and enjoyed it. And I ended up reading the second one in the series as well. The third one I still have left to finish. My Best Friend's Exorcism, Reckless Girls, Queen of the Conquered, which I still don't know how I feel about this one. Guys, I really don't. It was a three-star reading, but honestly, I could down it to a two. I still don't know how I feel about this one. I'll Be Gone in the Dark, which was so good. I actually had a physical copy of this and gifted it to my best friend. Uh, Night Circus, which I have a full review on my blog for. I was going to film it for YouTube, too. I just never got around to it. Next, uh, maybe you should talk to someone. This is another page where I started it borrowed it from the library and just never finished it and so it has a page with nothing in it because i never read the book the beast by katie roberts that was my first um katie roberts for for the wicked villain series and then destiny went down a rabbit hole this month for a while and so you have desperate measures learn my lesson worthy opponent see which and queen takes rose Twin, queen takes takes rose is my favorite out of the whole series um, and it just was awesome. This was a review. Um, I, I got a review copy I was offered by the author. It was really good. Um, I, uh, I honestly didn't give it a rating because I don't usually rate nonfiction, but it was a really interesting look at creativity and how your creativity doesn't always have to be tied to your productivity. It was really good. Before the Devil Breaks You, Ninth House. As you can tell, there's not many annotations here even though ninth house is is filled with them because i don't always transfer them over because it would took too many pages i didn't want to take as many up in here 
Poet X, which I read, I listened to pretty quickly. Uh, Once Upon a Dream and Reflection. Reflection was my is my favorite of the retellings thus far. I think the myth and the lore that went into this one was really, really interesting. This one I felt like it was just the same as the Sleeping Beauty stories it was. Electric Idol, Wicked Beauty, which are the second in the Neon God series. The Gracier, I love this one so much and did not talk about it as much as I wish I had. Um, this one follows girls who when they turn 16 they are sent out with first what's called their grace year the women in the town and the girls who are coming back are not allowed to talk about it they're not allowed to say what happens to their grace year and suppose they're supposed to go let their magic out and it's, it's so good if you've not read this book i highly highly recommend reading the grace year uh kingdom of the wicked the Hawthorne Legacy, as you can tell, I put all of my notes in here for this one. Um, I knew I was going to read the third one, so I wanted to have all my notes so I could go back. As you can tell, my print-off method changed here. So this is just printer paper. I printed it out and cut it out. Same with all of these. These are for my thermal printer that, had, that prints on sticky paper. I did not like the way they looked, so I switched to doing this. And they're always in black and white. I just like it in black and white. And this is the last book in here. And that is Anatomy, A Love Story. I love this one so much. And I put all my annotations in here. It was so good. I absolutely loved it. But I left a lot of blank pages because I wanted to go to my new journal already. So it didn't get completely filled up. I'm okay with that. Um, I will probably use these pages as scrap paper later. Um, and pull it out to do like tip-ins and things. That's usually what I do with this kind of paper, but I'm trying to fill up my new journal completely. And then I, my next one's totally different than the one I have now. But to continue and to finish this out, I have the buzzword page, which I actually finish, end up finishing my buzzword. I read The Little Book of Hooga and All Your Perfects by Colleen Hoover for these two. This was my list of audiobooks I read which I do differently in my book, my reading journal now. And this is all the books I read, which I do read differently now. And then, like I said before, my index, you can tell I taped it together. Um, this was just notes about what I wanted to change in my next one and a pen test. That's it. That is my old reading journal. It was a lot of learning lesson, a lot of lessons learned in this one. I love the size of this journal. It's a, it's skinnier than my A5. This is the A5, just so you can tell the difference. Um, I love this one. It taught me a lot when it came to time for a new one and what I did and did not like and what I did and did not want. Um, I am planning on doing a flip through through this one when I'm completely done with it. As you can tell, she's getting pretty fluffy. Um, I have about 40 pages left because here's where I'm at currently with March. Um, so I have about 40 pages left and she's getting pretty fluffy. I'm going to flip through her when she's completely done. She covers, yeah, September of 22 to whenever of 23 when I finish. She'll probably, the way I've been reading, she may make it to April. Right now, I have one more book to go here for February. I'm reading an audiobook at the moment, which I'll probably finish pretty quickly and I'll go here. And then I have another audiobook that I'll probably finish quickly and go here. So she may make it to April, she may not. Um, but we shall see. And when she's done, I'll do a flip through and then I'm going on to this beauty. My sister recently gifted me this and she is my new baby. Um, if you didn't know, I love Beetlejuice. <laughs> I just absolutely love Beetlejuice. And so this will be my new reading journal. It is lined, it's not dotted, which is weird. Um, but I'm excited to get into it and see and use it. She is a pretty thick journal, so I think she's gonna last me for a little while. She does have a bookmark which is kind of a requirement for me, but I don't think it's gonna bug me as much as it did, much as uh, it would if I was doing my bullet journal or anything in a line journal, because I don't, if you, as you can tell, I don't really put any tarts or anything in my journals. And if I wanted to do 
a bingo, which I have done in December, like December here, I did a bingo. If I wanna do something like that, I could always just do a tip in. Um, but yeah, so that is that journal. I just wanted to flip it through, flip through it for you, show you what I, what my journal looked like. Um, yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I'm gonna get off here. I'm gonna go read. I'm tired of looking at this light and I'll see you on my next one. Bye guys.